Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and it's Monday night and we're gonna craft. So y'all have a seat, come on in, have a seat and let's craft. If you're watching replay, thank you for watching. Um, so we're gonna do something fun tonight. It's an oldie but a goodie. And so I hope you enjoy this craft that I'm gonna do. And a lot of people have asked me to do it again, so I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> so here we are. Hope I can see comments. Let's see what everybody's doing. Hey, Luann, my friend Luann, hey. Hey, Leslie. I think Luann and Leslie are always the first ones. Hey, Marcia, is it Marcia? I always wanna say Marcia, I do, I, I do it every time. Um, hey, Judy, hello, everybody. Y'all come on in, have a seat. I got my hair chopped off, if y'all haven't noticed. <laughs> Hey, Marcedia, good to see you. Hey, Linda. Y'all, I am cold. It is so cold here, and we're getting ice later on tonight, and I'm not looking forward to that. Hey, Sherry and Carol. Yay, Amanda. My heat just kicked on because it's cold. Hey, Angela. Now I'll probably start sweating. It's either cold or hot. You can't be, you know, <laughs> a happy medium. Hey, Judy. Hey, is it Janine? Hey, Janine and Heather. You're gonna try to make the stacked, snacked snowman. I think I was supposed to say stacked snowman, not snacked snowman. Hey, Linda, hello. The snowman sign, yes, with the, the heads, yes. So cute, it's easy, you can do it. You can do it, I promise. Um, sitting by the fire, yes. Is it Anita? Yes, did y'all get some ice? Because we're getting ice tonight. Um, no snow, ice, yes. Look at my haircut. I cut a lot off. I was like, whack it off. I'm, I'm, you know, it gets to that funny, funny phase where it's like, it's too long. Cheryl, I don't know. You're on the live right now, Cheryl. So you're watching it live. Yay, and you got your box. Awesome. 21 degrees. Ooh, Darla, I know it's coming here. It's I don't know how cold it is right now, but it's like 35, 34. Oh gosh, too cold. I'm ready for spring, y'all. I want some spring, spring, spring. Oh, Sherry's already getting snow. Julie's on the couch. Oh my, I, I love, I love this shirt. It came from Walmart like last year maybe, and it's so comfy. I love this shirt. Um, thank you. Yes, they chopped. It looks uneven the way I'm sitting here, but um, it they chop about four inches off is what she said. Snow day today. So we're probably gonna have a snow day tomorrow. I haven't heard from the schools yet. I think they're waiting as long as they can to call it. Um, 29 degrees, ooh, phew. negative 29 degrees. Oh, that's cold. Oklahoma, I think everybody's cold except Florida. Penny's in Florida and she's turning her AC on. Texas is one big sheet of ice. Well, that's probably what we're, we're getting because it just moves across. Five inches of sleet. Oh my gosh. We, we, they're not even saying snow. They're saying ice. Like, it's ice. <laughs> so they're pretty sure we're going to get ice. So anyway, so we are going to, we're going to do this tonight because I've had a lot of people ask me to do it again. Um, I mean, I've had a few people ask me to do it again. Plus, I have spindles. And I'll plus I might, I'm gonna make them look a little different. I tried to find my other two and I think they are in my home decor in the, ha in the attic in the house of the other two that I have. Cause I've done a gray one and another white one that's got blue in his ears. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna, I'm gonna teach y'all to do this tonight. You know, we did the, we did the angel last week. Um, we did this last week with the tall one. And this is the smaller one, and I have both of them here actually. Um, that I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do two bunnies tonight. Negative 27, Donna. Y'all stay warm. Oh my goodness, hot chocolate. That's what I need when I get through is some hot chocolate. But um, so that's the angel we did last week. Thank y'all for all the prayers and all the messages and sweet comments about my father in law. He passed away Tuesday evening, um, and he's in a better place. So um, they're gonna have a celebration of life for him next month. And so, um, yeah, he's, he's in a better place. We just didn't think it was gonna happen that fast. But thank y'all all so much for the prayers. 
and we will miss him dearly. He was a sweet, sweet, sweet man, and he took my my kids and and well, me and my boys in like he never considered them anything but grandchildren, and they were his step grandchildren, of course. And he wasn't there for all of the raising part in the younger days, but you would never know that by how he acted around them. And he just, him and his, and Ginger, his wife just took us in, you know, just embraced us like we had been in the family forever and loved us from day one and my boys. And I will forever be grateful for that because they are such good people. Um, but she's doing okay. Um, she's doing good. Cause you know, they had made peace with it, you know, the outcome of what was gonna happen. So, um, but anyway, but Craig's good, we're good. Um, it's just, it just happened so quickly. We wasn't expecting it to be this quick. But anyway, but thank y'all all for the sweet prayers and the comments and all that stuff. Um, but he's, he's better off than we are and I know he doesn't wanna come back now. So, um, we'll see him again one day. Um, thank you, Cheryl, it's good to see you too. So we're gonna make this little guy and I'm gonna make him a, probably a little different. So, y'all know how it is when you do a craft the first time, you're like, ah, I kind of know what I'm doing and, and I'm, I kind of know how I want it to turn out. Well, then when you do it the second and the third time or on and on and on, it just kind of gets better and it changes a little bit in the process. So, I'm going to probably make these look a little different than this guy. I mean, not totally different, but, you know, I'm just going to do them a little different. Thank y'all so much for the prayers. I appreciate it. So, these are... Home Depot. I get them at Home Depot. Now, I know you can get them at Lowe's. Hey, Darlene. Um, you can get these at, at Lowe's as well. Um, so, this is the six inch table leg and this is the nine inch. And then they have the next size up is like really tall. And uh, I have one because I'm going to make one to you about my fireplace. Oh, you're going to be in Memphis next week. I don't know what it's going to do next week here. Um, this coming weekend is the wedding that I've been telling y'all about where my best friend Deidre, who passed away in 21, her youngest son is getting married Saturday and I get to stand in for her and do the mother of the groom dance and that's Saturday. Uh, the mother and son dance, so I have to dance with him in her place and that will be Saturday and I can use all the prayers I can get because that is going to be very hard and... I will be ugly crying, and I'm sure there will be a lot of people ugly crying, too. It's just going to be an emotional moment, probably for him as well. Um, and me. We'll probably both be squalling and slinging snot and everything else. Um, so, I, if I need all the prayers I can get, because every time I think about it, I just I get all teared up, and it's going to be very hard. So, I've just got a lot of things going on in the last week, or this last week, and then this week is just like, you know, I've been looking forward to this dance with him for since she passed away in 21 and now it's here and i'm like oh my gosh how am i going to do this i'm just going to have to let god just lead me and say i god i can't do this you're just going to have to <laughs> have to help me hello everybody that's hopping on hello okay now that i've been jibber jabbing we're going to get on with our little um uh, bunnies <laughs> okay so you have to have these from home depot or lowe's um i don't know of anywhere else you can get them your local hardware store might have them i don't know but they're table legs okay <clears throat> and then you have to have these this or or you can use a piece of scrap wood if you have it i just use these like this one is a piece of scrap wood but i like to use these and my husband was so kind and he drilled me a little hole in the center um because it has this, you know, where you screw the table leg in. So you can either get someone to take this out, which you it can be taken out because people have told me um, that they, they took theirs out. So I know you can take it out. I just didn't. I just use it as my way to um, attach it on to my, um, my base, which is kind of handy. So that's what you do. Okay, these are at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, everywhere has these little plaques. And then I just drilled a hole. And then my husband also drilled me a little bitty hole. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, Amy. Hey, Tracy. He drilled me a little hole in the top because that is where his ears are going to go in. Now, you can glue your ears on. It's totally fine. 
but I'm going to um, poke mine in that hole. I just thought that was kind of a way to hide it. You don't have to like fold them back and then glue it down. Hey, Robin and Janice. Um, thank you, Susan. Yes, it's going to be a very bittersweet moment. It is. And so it'll, it'll be good though. I don't even know the song and it's probably good that I don't. He chose it and, and his future wife chose the song and I don't even know. I probably don't need to know because <laughs> that's probably going to make it that much more emotional. She will be watching Marcedia. Yes, she will. Um, it's just going to be very super emotional. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to paint, I'm going to do mine different. So you're going to have to have this, the base, and I'm going to do the ears with the felt because these are felt. Okay. Um, but you know how we made the, um, these hearts back here, I might see if I can't make some that way. So we're going to see, but I want to paint, this is one of the felts I'm going to use for my ears. I don't even know where it came from. It's like a mingledy looking khaki looking color. So I'm going to paint one of these little guys, this color. Yes, Kimberly. Thank you, Ann. I got four inches cut off. I was, I was tired of that mess. I was just like, ah, this has got to go. This color is called Burlap by Deco Art. It's just a light brown color. Um, so I was going to use the Territorial Beige from Walmart, but it was, it was had a too much of a yellow tone to it. So I wanted to, because I was trying to match this, this felt. Okay, so I'm just going to start painting. And you see it's a real light color. But I hope y'all had a good weekend and everybody's staying warm. Somebody said they made the heart topiary. Yes, I've seen a lot of the heart topiaries um, in the group and they're so pretty. Yay, Kathy just got her little table legs. And, and you can use spindles. Y'all, if you have spindles or anything like that, Definitely use it, but this is a good uh, alternative to, um, if you don't have spindles, you can just go to Home Depot and for like five bucks or something, you can get one of these. And I wanna say that when I did these a couple, year, couple years ago, when I first did these, um, somebody made a bunch of them and sold them at craft fairs. Thank you, Carrie, I got it all not really all chopped off, but I did cut it off. I cut four inches off. Hey, Terrace. I, I had asked my hairdresser. This is, this is a little FYI information in case um, you ever want to know. I asked her, because I know you can donate your hair. Um, some places will take five inches. So I asked her, I said, if you want to go ahead and take five inches off, um, and I'll, you know, if, if I can donate it. And she said, yes, they, there's some places that do take that, that short of an amount, but here's the kicker. Your hair cannot be color treated at all. And I was like, well, that just ruled me out because I have color in my, <laughs> um, so, and been coloring it for, a long, long time, so I couldn't, I couldn't wait and, or either to cut too much off. 80, 80 in Florida, oh my gosh, I'm so super jealous. Oh good, you Barbie, you bought some legs from Lowe's. Yay! Um, so anyway, so that's FYI, if y'all have ever need to know that, that you cannot donate hair and if it's color treated. So, it has to be nothing. She said they will get it and it'll be color treated and they'll probably throw it away or they'll sell it to somewhere else or something. I don't know. Um, this one is the six inch and this one is the nine, nine inch. I don't know if that was paint or what that was, but I'm glad it didn't get on me. <laughs> Yay, Cheryl made the wreath holder. See, I made the wreath holder with this. Um, I need to make another one. That's why I have this one for back here. And now I'm like, well, I want to make um, bunnies now. So <laughs> off to Home Depot, I'll go again. See, this is a real pretty, just light tan color. Um, from the 14 inch, yeah, I have the 14 inch because I want to make one by my fireplace. 
And that's the next, it's big, it's really long. It's over there, but. 65 in North Carolina. Well, the cold is coming, I'm just gonna tell you, because once it comes this way, it'll blow over to North Carolina and y'all are gonna be freezing like we are. Oh, I'm ready for spring. Um, it's dreary and rainy and cold. Snow in Las Vegas in Nevada, two inches. Oh my goodness. That, I mean, that's a, that would be a lot for us because we hardly ever get snow. Oh, you donated your eight inches? Awesome. I wish I could, but I, since they don't, I didn't know they don't take color treated because I figured they bleached it anyway or did something to it anyway. So, or color treated it for the wigs and stuff, but I guess not. I really didn't know, honestly. But I was going to try because I know some places will take less than 10 inches. So, but I couldn't do it. Hey, Donna, and she's in South Carolina. You need a haircut? <laughs> I was past the point of, I was irritated with it. I was like, I just got to have some cut off. And sometimes it's just good to do that. Going to be below zero in Iowa. Ooh, it's just cold. It's staying in weather and crafting and something. All right, I'm going to paint around this because I'm trying to hold it with my fingers and I'm just gonna have to come back and paint where my fingers are. I'm gonna paint the base the same color. I know on the angel I didn't do that. Twenty-one in Utah snow all day. Oh, I like the snow, but when they say, "Oh, we're just gonna get ice," it's kind of scary because then it gets on the power lines and the limbs, and the limbs fall on the power lines and. And everybody goes slipping and sliding on the roads everywhere because the South is not prepared for that kind of stuff. So we don't do it well. Okay, so I'll try this really quick. Kathy, they don't take gray hair either? Wow, I did not know that. Hmm. Hair charge gives way too much for wigs. My daughter donates all the time. Oh, wow, Jackie, she does it all the time? Lynn, where are you? Yes, I'm in Mississippi, so we're getting ice tonight, too. Crafter in the winter months and a gardener in the summer months. That sounds like a good plan. I mean, gardening's kind of crafting in a way. So this is going to be my little bunny. But I think I'm going to... I don't know. I'm going to do something else to him. Linda wishes she had four inches to cut off. I, I really didn't know, know that it had really gotten as long as it had, and I was just so irritated with it. And I was like, she goes, I said, I want you to cut a lot off. And so she showed me how much, and she said, that's about four inches. And I said, four inches? And she goes, yes, girl, it's gotten long. Thank you, Heather. Negative 21. Woo. Zero here in Annabella. Woo. Okay, got it dry. See, it's a real nice, pretty color. It says burlap, but to me, that's not the color of burlap, but what do I know? Making sure I hadn't missed any spots. Um, Y'all, these are so simple. They're, they don't take long to make. It's just the painting is pretty much the, um, the most time consuming part. And I did sand these a little bit before I started, or actually earlier today, because I'll just start sneezing on, on here, <laughs> on my live sneezing, because all the dust. Angels, oh yes, angels, you made the angels this weekend. Hey Carrie, we're, gonna, we're making the little bunnies tonight out of the little, the little table legs, because I, I have an older video on them, but sometimes it's, I just like to do old things I've done before. Um, and I had people ask me. So it's like, oh, I just need to do it again. And then Kaylee, my moderator, was like, yes, do the bunnies again. Do the bunnies again. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'll do the bunnies. Because I had the spindles anyway. So I was like, okay, we'll do the bunnies. Yes, Tanya, I know. Y'all are sending the ice to us and I'm not happy. <laughs> I will be curled up on the couch 
Well, I might tomorrow. I don't know. It depends. 13 inches. Wow. Hey, Colin. There's my son. Hello. Hello. Leah's <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I thought I knew you knew where I was. It's, I do sometimes. And sometimes my brain fails me. It's like we're to keep up with everybody. Okay, so here's my little bunny. Now, I want to do something to it. I don't want it just to be the plain... <clears throat> I don't know. But I don't know what that's going to be <laughs> just yet. Like, I want to not distress him, but kind of distress him in a way. Um, Hang on. So, let me... I'm thinking. thinking. What if I did last minute plans here? What's this? Gray... Brown. I could put a little brown on him. I don't know. This is um, these. I got these at Hobby Lobby a while back when the Tim Holtz was on sale. And these are little stamp pads of the Distress Ink. And I'll see what color this is. And I haven't really used them enough to know the colors. I think I like this one. This is gray. This one is called walnut stain so i think i'm gonna um i got this gob of paint right here okay hard to keep up it is hard to keep up with everyone Teresa. i almost did sponge stuff on but i think i'm gonna just like i don't know i just don't want him to be plain and flat so I think I'm just gonna kinda do this to him maybe and see what happens. Just so it doesn't look just plain and flat. So, cause I have a couple more. And like I said, I believe they are in my stuff upstairs, white spots on him. Oh yeah, I could make him, he could be like a little spotted bunny. I'll, I would mess up the spots and make it make him look like he's got the measles or something. <laughs> I promise he would look like he had he had the mumps or the measles or some chicken pops. He'd be deranged looking if I tried to make spots. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing that, whatever this is. All right, let's go around. I'm just going to go around the little stand. Not that that's part of him. What's that? Okay. So I just kind of went. See how it just kind of makes it pop out a little bit? All right. He just going to have little stripes. <laughs> okay. So this was just a little Distress Ink stamp pad thing. It's 50 inches of snow in November. Loretta. Oh, good Lord. That's a lot of snow. No, 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 no. Oh, a cow. Sandy, a cow. Oh, my gosh. A black and white cow would be adorable. And put a little bitty bell on his neck. Oh, my gosh. We can just make a whole barnyard of animals and angels and snowmen and everything. Hey, Connie. Hey, Carolyn. Um, Patricia, I'm making that. I did this like two years ago and it's just one of those I like so much. I want to do it again. Um, and I've had people ask me and sometimes it's hard to just scroll all the way through all my videos and me try to find the video and then show somebody where it is. Donna, he's good. He's doing good. Um, Melinda, we're making oh, the little bunny out of this little spindle leg. And I'm going to make another one too. I'm going to make a, I think I'm going to do him white, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, Patricia could put a white chest on him. See how it just adds something to it, but I'm making sure it's dry because I'll smear it everywhere. The base color was um, burlap, my deco art. Y'all, that just, this just sucked up my hair. Like, <laughs> I leaned over and it like, <laughs> it pulled 
there. Oh, Lisa Marie Presley special is on. Oh my goodness. I'm missing it. I'm missing it. Okay, yeah, it's called Burlap. It's this color. And then I use this walnut stain little pad. You can do brown paint and just put it on sponge and kind of go over it. But that's what I did to him. Okay, so now I got to get this off my hands and make his... Oh, Marsha, you just got your notification. Oh, my gosh. They're running behind. Oh, y'all are watching the thing? Yep, Teresa, now you need to make a bunny. So you got the snowman and the um the angel so here's the angel if y'all didn't see the angel the other night her little halo some of y'all made them and they're so stinking cute um and i almost i was gonna thought about doing mine ears with this on him see look how cute well it kind of looks like the color of burlap but look how cute his ears would be out of that so you do whatever hey patricia she's a newbie Yes, I have made a snowman. Um, it's been about two years ago I made a snowman. Okay, so this is the felt I'm using. Joann's maybe, I don't know. But it's this mingledy color. So I was trying to find a paint that kind of went with this because I love this. Um, I love this felt. So, that's my ear, okay? <laughs> I, lay, I literally laid this ear down because I think I freehanded these and traced it, and that's the ear. So, just make you a little ear pattern to however long. If you want a floppy-eared bunny, you can make your ears really long. A scarecrow. We're gonna be we're gonna be making spindle uh, characters for days. Scarecrow would be super cute. Somebody made, I think somebody made a witch in the group out of one this year, this past, this past uh, Halloween. It was so super cute. All right, so here, here is my ears. Okay, so just do you two parentheses, and look, it's not perfect, okay? And make you a little pattern for your ears. All right, so... Don't be the person that does this, because this dry, this is my pet peeve in the crafting world, okay? It's when people have a piece of scrapbook paper. Unless you're wanting to do something in the center. And they put it in the center of the stuff and cut it out. No. <laughs> Go over to the edge and don't waste your stuff. Unless you've got, like, some particular picture in the middle that, um, it looked like Hobby Lobby. I don't really know. It just says classic... Coonan, Coonan, whatever that is. That's what the sticker looks like. And it may be Hobby Lobby. I have no idea. Um, it's just in my stash. <laughs> just like the pom-poms. Nancy, right? We're going to be making spin spindle characters forever. Oh, can I post? I knew somebody was going to say, can you post a picture? I'll try. I don't have a scanner, so I'll literally have to take a picture of it. And... Email it to myself. I might, I might can make that happen. Welcome, Darla. Darla must be new. I see Tammy talking to her. Welcome, Darla. Yes, I'm here th Mondays and Thursdays at 7.30 Central. If you were just hopping on and hop, hop, hopping on. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Mary's from Starkville. You're not far from me. We're getting ice, Mary. Are you going to get ice tonight? Probably. Okay, so you gotta have you're gonna have to have two pieces, one for the front and one for the back, because I put wire in my ears so I can bend them any way I want to. So I put wire in them. You can put a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna use floral wire. So I've gotta cut out four of these little dudes. Um Yeah, I don't know where the I I want to say it's Joann's, but I could be wrong. Because I've had this felt for a, a while. I don't even remember why I bought it, actually. But that's the story with half of our stash, right? Well, I don't remember what I bought that for, but I bought it for something. <laughs> All right, so there's one ear. So I got, um, I got a set, one set, and then I'm going to do this set. 
But you could do gray bunnies, dark brown bunnies, you know, any bunny. You could do pink if you wanted to do a pink bunny or a blue bunny or whatever color felt you have, that's what color bunny you can do. Or you can do, um, you don't even have to use felt. You can use another fabric if you have a fabric. Um, Dollar Tree has felt. I know, I know they have felt. You can paint your felt. I've done that before. If you just have white. All right, there's a one. Oh, you had so much sleep today. Oh my gosh. See, I'm a night owl. I stay up late. So I'm wondering if I'm gonna stay up till it starts sleeting at one o'clock, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably be sitting up making earrings. I gotta show y'all the earrings I have on that I made today. I'm so excited about them. I gotta show them to y'all. And they are bunnies because we're making bunnies. So they're bunnies. Okay. All right, so here is my ears. And now we're done with that. Okay, so my ears. Now, if you want, this is fabric in the center of my ears. I just took my fabric and kind of cut it. Wait till y'all see the fabric I chose. I love this fabric. Um, my helper Dorothy was here today and I was like, I want to know the fabric I want to use if I use this brown. And it's this, I think this was a fat quarter from Joann's. And I wish I could get it in a, you know, a whole bunch of fabric. I love this fabric. Um, she did a tutorial, what she put in the middle. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Okay, so I'm honestly going to see if I need to make another pattern. That machine I have is so cool. Yes, which one? I have the laser and then I have that fiber one I showed y'all with the patch. Where's my pencil? I just had the pencil. Here it is. I do, Vicki. I do have a page for that. I am a little behind. I still have the snowman. Um, let me do this. I still have to do the spindle snowman and the tear tray to do. Because I just had a little bit going on this last week. Well, that one didn't, didn't turn out. I didn't draw this side real well. Okay, so I'm literally just drawing my ear again, and then I'm gonna make the inside part. So I'm just gonna... So see, I just drew on the inside, and now I'm gonna cut that out. It looks like bunny paw. Oh, my ears, are y'all looking at my earrings? <laughs> oh, or, or, the, or the fabric. It's like, how can y'all see that far? I can't see my ears. Somebody's going to take a picture and screenshot it so they can see it up close. <laughs> they are cute. Okay, so that's all I did. I just did that. Hey, Shelly. So, see, it's going to be like this. All right, so I'm going to cut this out. Hey, Anita from Alabama. My neighbor, Alan, in Alabama. Okay, so this is in this fabric. So cute. But you can do whatever. That's the, the beauty in this is that you can um, do any color you want. And that's what's fun about it. Easter. You can have a bunny of whatever color you'd like to have. Let's see. Oh, I'm using the wrong pen. Where's that fancy pen I got? Hold on. Where's my, my friction pen? Hold on. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. The one that dries or or disappears better word here it is here it is if y'all haven't seen it these are fric friction f-r-i-x-i-o-n pins and they disappear with heat so i'm going to trace this out on my fabric and then i can use my heat gun my heat tool and it will make the ink go away not that you're going to see it but 
Okay. I'll show y'all in a minute in case y'all haven't seen it. Because it's really super, super cool. Come on. And I'm not worried about these being just perfect, perfect. Because if I wanted perfect, I would go to Hobby Lobby and buy a bunny, right? But I want to make my own. Okay, so here's my inside piece. And I gotta cut one more. You thought I was holding up a cigar. <laughs> I know that fabric is super cute, right? I love this fabric. So this pen, I'm gonna show y'all what it does. And the sweet, Miss Sweet Diane sent them to me. I believe it was Miss Diane. And you can get them at Walmart in the, the pen section, in the regular, um, like where the school pens and pencils and stuff are in Walmart. That's where they are, and they come in a pack. And I actually, have a little video I got to put up about the pens because, um, so everybody will know where to find them. But you can get them on Amazon, F R I X I O N. Okay, so this is what I shouldn't have thrown that away. This is what they do. Hold on. Okay, so there's my paper. Okay. So I'm gonna write the word hey on it, okay? And then you take this. And it, it makes the ink go away. The heat does. So it's gone. Isn't that so cool? And the people use them for sewing and um, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna knock this over. All right, so I got my ears. I got my inside pieces. So now, here's the magic in the ears. I'm gonna use just regular green floral wire. Look, y'all see this package? Look, it has been through the ringer. Um, and I'm going to open up my ears, my layers, because you know, there's gonna be two layers of your ears. I gotta get them where they match, hold on. I think I need to flip it, hold on. You know, they go one way or the other because of my pattern, okay. So, I'm gonna take my floral wire and I'm gonna lay it here. Well, actually, I'm gonna put a couple of drops of glue first or just a little line of glue. And then I'm gonna put my wire down and let that set up a second. Oh, you bought some pens, Linda? They are so super cool. You had to take them out of the package and try it, didn't you? <laughs> hey, Patty, you're okay? Okay, the pens are called Friction? F-R-I-X-I-O-N. And that's what they look like. They come in, I think they come in different colors. Blue, maybe red. Okay, so this is what I have. All right, so then I'm gonna take my other ear so this is what's going to make your ears bendy able to bend so i'm just gonna go around the edges and glue my top of my peak top of my ear to, to glue them together okay glue the top part but you don't have to use felt. You can use any kind of fabric you have um, for your ears. Can I hold up the pen? If I can get it to focus, like F-R-I-X-I-O-N. And I think um, the, they have them on uh, Amazon, I'm pretty sure. So I didn't glue mine straight. See, so I'm just gonna kind of give that a little trim so I can get it. So they look like they're married up straight. <laughs> so I look like I did a better 
gluing job than I did. Okay, so now there's that wire. So I'm going to, I'm just gonna cut it off about right there. Cause I can always cut more off. So there's my ear. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and attach my little leopard. He's gonna be, a, this bunny's gonna be a little edgy. He's got, he's got leopard. And I'm just gonna kinda do, put some glue where I know it's gonna be. And then glue it down. There's the ear, isn't that cute? Oh, I love this fabric. Been in the house, staying warm, yes. I believe it disappears permanently. I think someone told me that if you get it cold again, it will come back. But I don't, I haven't tried that myself, but I'm, I'm not 100% certain. And somebody on here might can say that or not. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put a line of glue right down the middle of my, what a time for my, Glue, we're going to run out of the glue stick. About the time, I don't need it to, okay. There we go. And so then I'm just gonna lay my little wire down again. You can use any kind of wire. You can use a pipe cleaner if you want to, just so they'll bend. You're making these tomorrow, Debbie. Oh, no, it's gonna be so cute. I have a whole family of bunnies because I have two more that's in the house in my decor and I have that one, and now I'm making these tonight. So, yeah, I'm going to have a whole family. They keep multiplying. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm just going to glue my pieces together. And then I'm going to put down my top piece where the his little inside of his ear, that fabric. Glue strings. Okay, so here's my ear, and there's my another ear. Look how cute! <laughs> that leopard is so stinking adorable. Okay, so now I have my ears. Y'all, how cute is this gonna look? Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Stop it. <laughs> They're so cute. Isn't it adorable? All right. So I'm gonna cut this off a little bit more. The leopard. Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, the tail, I actually have pom-poms for his tail. And you can make your own pom-pom for his tail if you choose to out of yarn. Or you don't even have to have a tail. Look at how stinking adorable this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I actually, and see they wiggle around in the hole. You can make your hole smaller, whatever you want to do. But I'm gonna, let me see, where's the front gonna be? See what side I want the front to be. Okay, I think it's gonna be right here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, I don't know how deep the hole is. Okay, I just kind of filled up the hole with the glue and then I'm putting them in like this. And I'm gonna let them sit here just a couple of minutes and set up. Look how stinking adorable this is. Look how cute, y'all. I cannot take it. Isn't it cute? Okay, so I'm gonna let that set up. All right, and so, so now what we have left to do is his nose and his whiskers and his eyes and all the things, or she or he or whoever it is. Okay, so that's how easy it is to make the ears. So I got this, I'm gonna save my patterns because you know, I might, I'll try to take a picture. Charlene, I am on uh, Mondays and Thursdays at 7.30 Central. No, this is a Walmart, Walmart 987, 997 glue gun. <laughs> the last one I had like this lasted me 13 years and it still goes, it still runs, it's just on its last leg and I had to get the same kind again. 
I mean, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Okay, so he's, see if that's, yeah. All right, so let's do, what am I looking for? Hmm. I'm going to do his eyes with my little dotting tools. So I'm going to do his eye. That's what these eyes are done with. You're welcome to paint them on. And I'm just going to make little circles with my tools. You can use a dowel like this or anything of the sort that, to make your circle. Or you can, if you're good enough, you can definitely paint them on. Um, so I'm going to do little black eyes. So I'm just going to use what's in my cap. And... Hopefully, I'm gonna use a dowel just so y'all can see that I can, it can be done. I'm trying to look at that one. So there's one. All right, just caught myself with my tongue out, y'all. <laughs> if y'all see me with my tongue out, that's just, when I concentrate, I do, and Chase does the same thing. When he was little, I would take pictures of him with his tongue out while he was trying to concentrate. There's his little eyes. Paper towel. Hey, Sue. Hey, Jenny. Okay. So, yes, these are from Home Depot. They come out, they start like this. They got this little screw like this, and then you use one of these round things. I see somebody asking. Okay, so there's that. So you could paint his nose on, you could do all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna dry these really quick so they won't run. Dawn, the color on the spindle is burlap. And it, it's a good color because it matches that felt. I was trying to match the felt. And you can mix your color. Don't think, oh, you gotta run out and get that same color. Mix you some white and a little brown and you know, play around with your colors. It's just something I just pulled off my shelf and have. Okay. So I'm drying his little eyes so I can put the whites in them. But for his nose, I'm going to do a button. And I'm going to put jute. I already chose my buttons out of my 9,000 buttons I have. So I wouldn't have to sit here and dig through the buttons while y'all watch. Want me to dig through the buttons. Um, Carol, the bunny is a spindle from Home Depot or Lowe's. They have three different sizes, of course. But the, big, the tallest one from this is really big. Um, and I made these a couple years ago and we're doing it again tonight so they can all have friends. They multiply. Um, okay. So should I do, I got light pink and then I have the basic brown, you know, just the brown little buttons. And I was kind of figuring I was going to do like just the neutral tone on him. I don't know that little pink, that little pink looks kind of cute. Just that little pop of pink on his nose. I think I like that. Okay, so his whiskers, we're going to do the whiskers. So all his whiskers are, which this jute right here is a little bit thicker jute. And I have this, I may have it around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. What's this? Here we go. This is a little thicker. I think this is Dollar Tree. I'm not real sure, but... I just, if it's really thick like that, or even this, you can unravel it. I don't know if it's going to let me, because this is kind of, I like the pink too. I think it just, that little bit of color. I'm just kind of unraveling the ends. You know, it's just kind of twisted. This is not the fat jute that I really would like, but see, I'm just kind of doing that. Let's see, I'm trying to measure how big it needs to be. Probably about there. Two batteries on. Use the other one while it charges. Pink noses, yeah, I'm just doing a little, that is really light pink buttons. And if you don't have buttons, cut you out a little piece of cardboard and paint it pink. You know, you can use whatever you have. Okay, so see how I just took it and I frayed it on the ends like this? See? And I'm going to do a couple of pieces like that. It's too short. 
Oh, it looks like whiskers. Pink. <laughs> it's a table leg, yes. The table leg is the angel. That's a table leg as well. And then I do snowmen with the table legs. And now everybody's like, oh, it's a scarecrow. We could do a scarecrow or we could do um, something else. <laughs> yes, you could use a small pom-pom. You sure could. That's a good idea. Smallest size spindle. Yes, this is the smallest one. It is a six inch. And then this one is the nine. So you can have a whole little family. Hey, Teresa. Um, okay. So I'm just kind of fraying it a little bit. It's all about the little details. Okay. So see... All right, so then I'm going to bundle those two together. So he's going to have almost a mustache, but there's his little whiskers. So we're going to lay him down, do a little surgery on him. And I'm going to put a dot of glue. And then I'm going to put my whiskers down. Just like that. Ooh. All right, and then his little nose, and I'll put my button on top of that. Oh, y'all, he's so stinking cute. I'm telling you, the whiskers, to me, just makes it. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's cute. You got, you got you some, Teresa? Yes, it's all about the details. I mean, this went from this to this with some paint and some eyeballs and some felt and for his ears. I mean, this is stinking adorable, if I do say so myself. And I've got, thank y'all for the hearts. Fishing line, yes. I just like the rustic look of the jute. Okay, I gotta dry his eye, but I don't wanna make my button come off. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some white. Isn't it so cute? All right. And y'all know this little tool from Dollar Tree. It's like a little embossing tool. It's got a little ball on the bottom and a little big one on the top. I'm just gonna dip it in some white and put him some little dots in his eyes. Okay, now I'm going to do the other end and do, okay, see, just give him a little light in his eyes. What size dowel? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It's fatter than a pencil. I don't know. <laughs> I used to dot with those because, you know, there was no dotting tools when I was dotting in the beginning. Uh, okay, so I think he needs some eyebrows though. Let's make him have some little um, eyebrows. And I'm just gonna get a real tiny dotting tool and dip it in my, the black. And do, or you can use a Sharpie, but just draw a little line or a tiny paintbrush if you're that good. Unlike me, I would have it all over. He looked like he had uh, mascara running down. Okay, see the little eyebrows? <laughs> Isn't he cute? His little face. The table legs, they come from Home Depot. But Lowe's, uh, people get them from Lowe's too. Um, this is called Burlap from Deco Art. It's the first time I ever used this color, actually. I was just trying to match this felt. So that's the color I chose. Look at his little eyebrows. Okay, so don't worry about this up here. Like if his, if the little felt, I mean the fabric doesn't come down. See how mine's not perfect at the top? Because I'm gonna add, um, I have these, I don't even know where they came from. I've had them for a long time. They're like little paper flowers. And I'm gonna put him, I'm just gonna pull the wire out of him. 
eraser of a pencil, yes, or the end of a magic marker, anything that's flat and round. Now, trying to pull the wire out. So they're just like little paper roses. They're, I don't even know, I've had them forever. Fuzzy pastel balls. Yes, that'd be cute. So I'm gonna glue these little flowers right up here at the base of his ears. Cause you know, that's gonna add something to him, but it's gonna cover up our mistakes that we make so nobody can see that my fabric is uneven. And then they can't see where, um, where the ears go into the head and all that stuff is kind of hid. Oh, this is so cute, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look how cute. So see, now you can't see my little imperfection at the bottom of the ears. And you can't see all that. But he is so dang cute. Look at that. Stop it. <laughs> and you can bend them however you want to bend them. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Lynn. Do a tuft of faux fur. Yes, Ellen, you could. If you have that fur like we make gnome beards with, you could definitely take a piece and just cut a little strip and then make it all stick up. That would be adorable. Yeah, the Dollar Tree dowels would work. Um, the end of the foam, um, the foam brushes, those little dowels on there, use that. Okay, so he's going to have a white pom-pom, uh, a tail. These are... Pom poms from the Crafter Square. Um, so I'm gonna put him, <laughs> his little tail back here on, make sure I got it where I need it. I make the most, thank you, Cheryl, you're so sweet. He is a she, yes. He's he or she, or we could put eyelashes on her. You could do so much stuff, look. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Okay, so now I'm gonna make he, she, whatever she is, uh, um, something to go, I'm gonna tie around her neck thing. And now I wish I hadn't put that lace up today. I had to, ooh, two spools of lace and I didn't put it up, because here it is that I had for the angel the other day. Oh, but it's cream colored. A cotton ball, you could use cotton ball, you sure could, or you could make a yarn pom-pom. You could definitely do that. All right, let's see. This is so adorable. It is, y'all, I just can't take it. So to tie in the ears with something down here, cause it needs something down here. I just tie, like this one, I just tied a little strip of fabric around its neck and made a little bow and called it a day. Where did I tie that, up here? I wonder if I tie it. No, it needs to go up there. It's just so cute. For some dimension. Yes. Okay. So stinking cute. I don't know if I can tie a bow. I don't have it long enough. So I'm just going to tie it in a little knot right here. Not looking like a little scar for something, but it's so cute. You could put some bling on it. Um, you could put another little rose. Oh, that is so adorable. Look how stinking adorable this is. Oh my gosh. So cute. Yes, these will make great Easter gifts. And like I said, when I made them before, I think somebody made a whole bunch of them. And they put them in there. They've sold them at a craft fair or something like that. Look at that, how perfect the fabric is. I love this fabric. I love it. But now you definitely could make their ears out of the stuff that we use for the angel. Or even the inside of the ears. You could use it, use some burlap and sponge some <coughs> white on it. But you could do the ears out of that. It would be so cute. But I think it's adorable, oh my gosh. 
tiny flat. Oh yeah, you could put moss around here and flowers. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Y'all just keep coming with the ideas and I'm just, maybe I need to put two right here or three. Put one there. One there. And you could just go on and on and on and just keep on adding little embellishments. And um, the fabric, I think, was a fat quarter from, from Joann's. And it wasn't recent, so I don't know. But look at that. See, I just put two little flowers at the bottom. Cute. That's right. Tell your husband, hey, I want to, honey, I need to go to Home Depot. I need some spindles at Home Depot. He'd be like, spindles? What are you going to do with spindles? My, hu my husband don't even question me anymore. He's like, she'll do something with it. Like when I showed him the angel that we made out of that spindle, he was like, dang, that's pretty. <laughs> I was like, thank you. I know it is. It's not a spindle anymore. The fabric came, I think it's from Joann's, like a fat quarter from Joann's. You know, they have them on the edge around the fabric. And they'll have them on sale, too. Mini eggs with grass. Ellen, yes, you could put little plastic eggs down here and some Easter grass or some moss. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Let's do this one. All right, I'm going to do this one white. Oh, my paper is all, all crunched up over here. Here we go. i tell you what. I'm going to just do this. I've been saying I'm going to do this, and I hadn't done it yet, and here we go. Because I can just wipe it right off my table. Don't try this at home. <laughs> um, I have a glass on my tabletop, and I was like, I can just pour my paint directly right on my table and then just wipe it off if I want to. You're going to make a trip to Home Depot. Everybody's going to sell Home Depot out of their table legs. And Amazon may have them. I have never looked. So somebody might go and look for the table legs on Amazon. And I won't be surprised if they have them. But they probably do. So let's do this one white. Look how cute it's going to be. This is going to be the King Daddy one. The burlap I held up. I use this for the angel wings. And it came from Walmart. Um, and it's just this white, it's got white paint on it, like burlap. And that's, I used those for the angel's wings the other day. I just had it for something. I bought it for something at some point. Like I said, you know, we don't have to have a reason of why we buy something to go in our stash. Correct? Ooh, sometimes it's just, uh, you know, I bought it for something. There was a purpose at one time and then that purpose didn't happen. Okay, I'll go look at the... I've seen a bunch of the hearts, but I will look at the reveal page. I see them in my feed. It's just so hard to comment on everybody's, but um, they're so cute. But look at this. I love this paint on my table. Just putting it right on my table. But yeah, I got, I got a glass company to cut me this glass for my tabletop. So I can just clean up everything right off the glass and this is easy the glue just pops right off the paint wipes right off the stands they go on they are just little round those little round plaques that they have at hobby lobby and my husband drilled a little hole and then you can just screw it right in there he just kind of did a little hole to get it started but then he, he did a hole in the top which i've kind of filled up with paint there there you go for the ears to go down in. So let's do this one white. Oh, Amazon has the table legs. That's a game changer for a lot of people because some people don't have a Home Depot probably. That's awesome. Odd shapes, not cute ones. Uh-oh. Well, maybe maybe somebody found some because she said she got hers today. So maybe 
I think they show different things to different people, if y'all want to be honest. I really think they do. Because I'll look for something, and then a friend of mine will say, oh, I found it, and I'm like, uh, I didn't see that. I think they show different things to you. All right, so let's get on down here. The round piece, Betty, they come... They look like this, and they come from Hobby Lobby. Mine did, and I buy like a four pack. They come in like a, a little four pack. Joann's, Michael's, they all have them, and that's what I used. <laughs> you bought, Kimberly, you bought four more table legs this weekend? I know, it's just, they're just so cute, and I just, I like to craft with them. Um... The snowmen, the angels, the bunnies, and whatever else kind of people we can come up with and creatures. But they're just neat looking. I just got paint way over here. Hey, Mildred, you're okay. You can always go back and watch the replay. I just made one bunny, and now I'm about to make this one. Because, y'all, they're so easy to make and quick. They're very quick. <laughs> yeah, Kaylee, ours is the same. But sometimes I, people go, oh, I look at this on Amazon. And I'm like, that didn't come up in my search. Amazon doesn't have them. Okay, maybe the, whoever said that they got theirs, maybe they'll share their link with us. Because like I said, I think they show different things to different people. I'm almost thinking that they do. Okay. But you can use any kind of spindle. If you have some old spindles... Use those. Old candlestick, you know, if you can take the top part off. Same thing. So it doesn't have to be this exact, um, you know, spindle or table leg or whatever we're calling it. Believe it or not, I think this is just Deco Art White, if y'all, I didn't tell y'all. Okay, so now I got to paint down here. I kind of like the white bunnies, but I think I'm going to use the same fabric. You love the angels, Helen? I do too. That angel would, somebody on the reveal page made like a set of them, like the three, like I had said. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. And just so simple. And, you know, it wouldn't even be sweet to give that to somebody that had somebody that passed away. A penguin. Sandy, you're right up Kaylee's alley. She loves her some penguins. Oh, yeah, maybe some maybe that person will post their link or something where they found what table leg they got. I can't believe Amazon doesn't have these. They have everything. Do y'all know of anybody like that you're friends with that doesn't shop on Amazon? I know one person. That's it. It's a friend of my husband's. He doesn't shop on Amazon. And we're like, what? You know, how, how is that even a thing? Like, we look at Amazon for everything. And I know that's bad, but we do shop local too. But sometimes it's just easy to get on Amazon. It'll be here in two days. Especially when you have to go a long ways, you know, to get something. It's like easier just to get on Amazon and click, 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 and it's done. Yeah, the table leg section, I'm trying to think of where it is. It's where are all the little finishes and the finials and the baseboards and all that little stuff is together at Home Depot and Lowe's and it's in there. Hey, Tanya from Hummingbird Paintery. That's my friend Tanya. Y'all got to go check her out. She makes all kinds of little, a little critters and stuff out of finials and wood pieces. I'm making bunnies, Tanya. You haven't seen my bunnies. Here's my, here's the one I just made. I'm going to make, um, another, another one out of the tall one. But this is the one I made like two years ago. And everybody asked me, some people asked me to do it again. So we're doing it again. <laughs> so anyway. Linda, Linda has never shopped on Amazon. Linda. 
Wonderful. Wow, that's that amazing. I know, and it's too easy, actually. The Amazon is too easy because you just go click, click, and in a couple days, it's sitting on your doorstep. Yeah, some people have to travel a long ways, like somebody just posted. And so Amazon is wonderful for that. If you don't have anywhere to go buy supplies or craft supplies or anything of the sort, um, then it's wonderful for those, for people like that, which my Home Depot or whatever, or my Hobby Lobby, for a matter of fact, is about 20 minutes away. So it's a good ways. And some people have to go even further than that for stuff. So yes, now I'm just kind of hitting the high parts where it's soaked into the wood and then I need to get those places. And this is gonna be a bunny here in just a few minutes. Y'all just wait. I really am liking this, this tabletop, y'all. This is awesome. Cause I can just wipe that right up here in just a minute with a wipe. Just making sure I got it. Coated. Sometimes I get in a rush and I wish I would have put a second coat on and I didn't. So I don't want to rush myself. It's going to look so cute. I couldn't just do one. I had to do the big one too. Okay. Alright, let's let this dry. Itching. An adorable something. Accent with the burlap paint. Oh, I could do that. We can make him some little, we can dry brush him maybe. Yeah, you can find some things on Amazon you can't find anywhere else. That's the truth. Just crazy stuff that you didn't know you needed. And I see that on TikTok all the time. Like things you didn't know you needed on Amazon. And you're like, I need that. That's really cool. You shop on both. Okay. Try that. Hands. And y'all see, look here. Look at this. Priceless right here. Priceless. My glass tabletop. It comes right off. Wonderful. Look at there. Ta -da. No paper plate was harmed in this thing. <laughs> I didn't have to use a paper plate. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put a little more burlap because everybody wants me to, this is burlap. And uh, I think I might make him furry looking. Your mom has never shopped on Amazon. Okay. He's going to be a little, a little brown fuzzy. Instead of just being plain white, like we said. White is really white. <laughs> Sister worked at Amazon for less than six months and the things people would order were astounding. Yeah, it's, they have everything. I'm talking everything, but obviously they don't have these table legs. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised. Home Depot must have the market on the table legs or these table legs at least. And Lowe's. This is gonna look cute. Kinda looks like fur. Okay, see? I'm gonna hold it back here so y'all can see it because if I get close, it gets really white, but y'all can see. I just kinda brushed. Let me do the top. Looks like I just totally missed that. Just kind of start light and then you just get to where you want to add some more and get a little heavier instead of going heavy at first. That's what I do. Cause what's well, like, what if I don't like it? <laughs> and you paint back over it, but I don't want to go heavy at first. Now, so see, he's kind of, Kind of tan, tan little bunny. 
And I'm gonna wipe my paint right back off. Y'all, that, that right there is awesome. Okay, and then I'll Windex it good later. Okay, so now I gotta do my eyes. I do too, Jane. Y'all like it just looks like hair. Okay. So, where's the black? Alright. Let me get my little dowel out. Is that the one I use? I don't know how big that is, y'all. It's a dowel. It looks like a cigar, somebody said earlier. It does. It's just a piece of a dowel. Alright, where's my front? So I'm going to let the eyes be drying while I'm making his uh, ears. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't want to put... No. I was trying to decide if I wanted to put it on the flat piece or like right one on one side of the little ridge or the one on the other. So that's what I was just trying to decide. Come on. His eyes are not wanting to do. There we go. It looks like a little ghost, doesn't it? <laughs> I think while they're wet, I'm gonna do some eyelashes. Let's let this one look like a girl. So I'm just kind of dragging out from the eye. Do her little her some little eyebrows. Okay, so she kind of looks a little feminine. See the little, I did little eyelashes. She's gonna be so cute. Yeah, so many choices. Um, you can do these any color, pink. You can do anything, anything pink. Pink, blue, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. We gotta make our ears. Okay. I wanted to try this. You know how we did these? So this will be another option for your ears. A floral wire. And I'm not really sure how much I need. Well, that's probably okay. What I had left of the other one. And you love the heart something, round half heart something in the back. Round half heart, round. Time to look. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, so this is, y'all are gonna ask, about eight inches floral wire. Remember how we did this the other day? When we did the hearts, these hearts in the background? This is how I did those. If you missed that, you'll have to go back and see it because it was really cool. So I'm going to do that the exact same way and we're gonna see what these ears are gonna look like. Cause we talked about, somebody said that looks like, um, that looks like bunny ears. So that's what I'm doing. Come on, now it's not wanting to do like a twirl, like I wanted it to twirl, but it's okay. So let's try this. I don't know if it's gonna look right, but we're gonna see. Oh, your husband works at Menards. See, we don't have Menards here in the South. I wish we did, because I hear y'all and other crafters talk about Menards, and I'm like, I think I need a Menards. Okay, so here's my ear, and I may need to make them I don't know, a little longer, but oh, look at this, hold on. I don't know if I have enough to twist it together or not. <laughs> so I'm twisting it like a little bread tie. There we go. So they may need to be, 
don't know. I don't want too bad. I don't know. Let me make the other one and see. I don't have one either. Oh, where did I get the floral wire? Just Walmart, Hobby Lobby, anywhere has floral wire. I think I need to make them longer. See, that's eight inches. Let's go a little bit longer. See, is it is it like a hardware store, I think? Menards, y'all tell me. Hard, isn't it a hardware store? I think. Okay. It won't, I can't get it to twirl and I don't know why. I don't know if I just can't get my fingers on it good or what. So I'm just going to wrap it really quick. They do have these at Menards. Oh, that's good to know for everybody that's got a Menards. Put pink, yes, put pink yarn in the middle. Um, I actually, I was going to take some of that fabric, I think, and make the middle like these. Can you stuff the ears? These ears? Yeah, you could absolutely stuff those if you wanted to. You sure could. That's a good idea, actually. Okay. I think this is going to be better. Yeah, that's longer. So, I think it's going to be better. So, let me twist them together. It's like a hardware store. Okay. Like a Home Depot. Is it a, is it small or is it like um, like Lowe's or something? Is it that big? Um, twisting my wires the easy way. Because it's hurting my fingers. Okay. So see, I could totally leave them open. But I don't know if I like it open or not. Can buy online. Oh, you can buy online with. Well, that's cool. The wrap floral wire, like the hearts. Yes. Okay. So I think let me make another one. I don't know how long that was. I think it was about ten inches, because it looked about two inches longer than my eight inch piece. Because the eight inch one looked too small. So right there. Something about twirling it. I saw somebody saying it makes a big difference when you're twirling it. Maybe it's because that other one's got the fabric on it and it's easier to twirl and get your fingers on it. It's big like Lowe's. Okay. So I've never seen one or been in one. I have no, I don't even know where the nearest one is to me, but I know they're kind of up north. But they're big. It has food. Oh my goodness. That sounds pretty big. Hardware store. We don't have that down here. We have like Ace Hardware. We have those and they're small. They're not like a Lowe's. It's kind of a, just like a little neighborhood hardware place. They usually don't have wood or anything like that. They have paint and all the kinds of stuff you need for hardware. A little bit of everything, hardware store, furniture store. Oh, wow. Did you make the ear? These ears are felt. That's just felt glued together with a wire in the middle so it will be, so I can bend them. Or you put a pipe cleaner in the middle. You can't see it, so it, nobody knows. It's a great big store. Put a little piece of pink yarn in the middle. Okay, I'll have to jump up and grab my pink yarn. I was going to put some of that fabric, like that, like him. But I'll do pink if y'all me do pink. Hang on, let me grab this pink yarn because I'm looking right at it. Just gotta decide which one to get. Knocking stuff down in the process. Okay. Here's my chenille. It's really pink. And then I've got this stuff. I kinda think I'm gonna use this. Okay. So let's make his ear. You like Ace? I do too. Ace is kinda small. Um, Southern Missouri. Okay, so that must be the nearest one to me. All right, so I've bent it in half. I gotta twist it together like bread ties. Thank y'all for hanging out with me if I haven't told y'all that already. Our Menards has somebody playing the piano. What? 
Playing the piano. That's fancy. <laughs> they must be fancy. You like Lowe's better than Menards. All right, how am I gonna do this? Okay, I think I'm just gonna like double it like this and just put me some glue in there and hope for the best. <laughs> Concentrate. Hopefully my tongue is not going to be sticking out. Okay. And cut it off. I didn't glue it all the way down. doubled up like that. So I can't figure out else, else how to do that. Oh, sticking to me. So I think I'm going to go back to my old faithful over here. And where is my little, that pattern's going to be perfect. Thick pink you used on the hearts above you. I know. I don't know where it is. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It was looking right at me the whole time. Didn't see it. Look. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Okay, I just didn't like the way it looked doubled. Okay. Yes, this is it. This is it. Thank you for somebody saying that and I didn't even see it. I don't know. My yarn tub is over there. Vicky likes the felt ears better. I kind of do too. They're more defined, but we're just going to see and give somebody else maybe an idea of how they could do it if they don't have any felt, but they have this yarn. Maybe you'll like it now, Vicky, that I've changed it. It's got pink. I'm trying to get it in the middle. There we go. See, it's going to look like this. Where's my other one? So I got them open a little bit so I can kind of wedge it down in there. The top and the bottom. I know it's a good thing it wasn't a snake, Kaylee, because it was right there on top. Now, obviously, I didn't even see it. I just glued that to my table. I hadn't glued anything to the table in a long time, but I just did. I guess my glue went through my ear. I used to glue stuff to the table all the time. Thank you, Beth. Oh, that's Beth from the Ruffled Daisy. That's my friend. If y'all go check her out. She's another one of my friends. Uh, Lori, I just cut me, I just drew basically this. I actually traced his ears because I made him two years ago. So I laid his ear down and traced it and then cut it out. But I can draw around it and try to take a picture and put it in the group so y'all can have the pattern. But I just basically just drew, you know, a little parenthesis type deal. Okay, so here's his little ears. Let's see if I can get, cause these are double wired. So I'm gonna have to see if I can, ooh, that glue's hot. Let me work with this one first. It's, it's cooled off. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna like these ears as well. What do y'all think? Y'all think I should make the flat ears? Okay, we're just gonna stick them in there for right now so y'all can see. <laughs> he kinda looks like a little demon bunny right now because he's got, um, he don't have any eyeballs or nothing like that. Yes, 
The hot glue, yes, absolutely. It just got on there and I just peeled it right up because it's cold, so it almost cools off on contact. I'll show you when that dries. I don't think. The black, the black and white bunny, yes. This is the one I did two years ago. So cute. And then I have one with blue in the middle. I have a gray one. So I did this brown one tonight and I'm doing this one. But I guess, you know what I think's throwing me off is that the fact that the ears are white and he's like white with um, flat ears. Okay, everybody's saying flat ears. Flat ears with material felt. They're too over, see, I'm thinking they are too. I think they're, I don't know. I think they're just too much or something and they're white and that's throwing me off. I think is what the deal is. You like the felt the best. Okay, so see this glue? It's still a little tacky, but I just picked it right up off the table. It comes right up. Okay, we're going to the felt. <laughs> Ooh, what if I did? Y'all are hanging out with me. Do you have a... Um, no, it's... This is glass. Ugh, cross my leg. This is glass. And then the tablecloth is under the glass. And this pick, this thing with my... I gotta make me a... Um, something to go under here better than that. I just did that temporarily. Because I didn't have to do my... Didn't have time to do my Cricut. Fluffy like girls. I don't know, y'all. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna make felt ears. Let's see, can I double this and do this, maybe? Without my pattern slip sliding everywhere. I'm gonna try to double up my felt and cut them at the same time, but you know, we'll see. See if I can make that happen, but I don't know. If I hold my mouth right, I might can do it. bumpy but I'm gonna fix it <laughs> all right so let's do one more so I'm doing doubling it over to make two at once and that way I don't have to cut them cut four out sometimes I can get stuff like that to work and sometimes it'll slip slide on me and I can't get it to to work and I was better off just cutting all four <laughs> Oh, you saw the sign I made for her? Yes, for Cindy. So her tabletop is, gl is glass, and that's where I got the idea from because she does resin, so her resin she can just scrape off with a razor blade. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius. I can just pop stuff off. Hey, Kathy. Um, I can just pop glue and paint and everything off this glass and just clean it with Windex or whatever. And... Um, You know it'll just come right off the glass and I can just clean it okay so now I've got two that ear looks a little lumpy bumpy all right so now I'm gonna take the wire I didn't use earlier and let's glue I'm gonna put a line down the middle and see her ears are gonna be white too I don't know if that's gonna throw me off but maybe when I put the brown on that fabric in the middle it's gonna be better Thin cinnamon. All right, so. But you could absolutely stuff these if you wanted to. It's, it'd be kind of hard, but they're they're little. But if you want to stuff them, you sure can. Burlap lace. That would be pretty. Hey, Tracy, you're new to my page. Thank you for being here. All right, so see, you can see that wire in there because it's white. But like the brown, you can't see it. But you're gonna cover it up in the front anyway. You're gonna cover it up with the, uh, where's my wire? With the fabric in the front. So you're not gonna see it. Where? Looks like I need some more floor wire. I have one piece left. Okay. 
But the wire in the middle, that's what allows you to be able to bend his ears. If you don't want him to bend, you don't have to, but it also helps them to stand up straight. Otherwise, they I don't know if they would stay up straight or not, but the wire just kind of helps. Okay, all right, so there's that one. There's this one, and we'll cut them off. So I get rid of that wire, it's gonna poke me in the eye. Dry brush some khaki on the white felt. Like it takes a long time to dry. To be honest, if you when you paint paint on this, it takes it a forever to dry. Where's my fabric? Here we go. So this is the fabric I used on the other one. Joanne's, I think. Um, I can't lose my pattern. Joanne's fat quarter, I believe. I'm using my, I got so much stuff out here, my friction pen so I can erase it. So, yeah, thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight. I hope y'all aren't all just so, so cold and freezing because it's going to ice here after a while. I hope it doesn't get bad and we lose power. But people in the South, I don't know about y'all, but People in the South, when it says it's gonna snow or ice or something, everybody runs to the grocery store. I gotta buy the milk and bread. I still don't know what good milk and bread's gonna do you, but gotta buy the milk and bread, gotta buy the milk and bread. <laughs> I didn't go to the grocery store because it's only, we're gonna get out of freezing the, the very next day. So if you don't have it, if I don't have enough food to last me a day or so, <laughs> I'll be okay. Um, 84 degrees in Florida. Brenda, just rub it in. 84, she's got the air conditioner on, I'm sure. So I'm tracing, I trace my little um, inner ear pattern. And I don't have to use that the, the heat tool on this one because I'm kind of cutting the ink off and you're not going to see it. But those pins are really cool though. Okay, so let's glue this on the inside of my things. Maybe this is going to tie that in. I don't know. Because I wasn't, I really wasn't planning on painting her, um, dry brushing her. So the white ears, I guess, is what's throwing me off. Same thing happens up north. <laughs> Florida is nice and warm right now. Ugh. Super jealous. Super Jealous, and I've got something in my glue. Whoop. I want hot, I want warm and sunny, and I don't like cold and dreary and sn icy and snowy, and I don't, I'm not that kind of girl. Okay, so there I'll put that in the middle, just like his. Whoop. So I see it looks good on the white, too. Yeah. They do that up north, too. <laughs> they run to the grocery store. Oh my gosh, we gotta have the milk and bread. Freezing rain in Conway. Oh, that's what we're going to get. Y'all, I just threw my ear in the garbage. <laughs> Where'd it go? Here it is. Whoops. <laughs> I threw the ear in the garbage. 14 degrees tomorrow. Oh. I got fuzz in my, my mouth. <laughs> I threw my ear in the garbage. <laughs> okay. What do y'all think of that? It don't look too bad. All right, I'm gonna cut this off a little bit. I'm gonna cut this off. Me too, Tanya. Y'all are supposed to get snow and stuff too, aren't you? Tanya's, Tanya's a little north of Memphis, kind of northeast of Memphis. Okay, so I'm filling up my little hole with some hot glue, and then I'm gonna put my ears and they'll kind of, they kind of just wedge their self in there and I'll let them sit. Okay. So I'm going to let them see that doesn't look too bad. I like the brown one though. Okay. So while that's drying, let's tear some more of this. 
to make her little thing. Freezing rain in Texas. See, I know it's coming just like right across from y'all over here to us. Oop. I don't know if that's going to be long enough. I guess that's the longest side I got. Anyway. Um. So I'm just, I'm hoping by some miracle it misses us or something. I, want, I really, really, really want to tie a bow, but let's do this. We're gonna, we're gonna make us a long piece. I'm gonna cheat and make a long piece of fabric, okay? I don't tell nobody. How close do you make the holes for its ears? It's just one hole. I just put one hole in the center and they both, both the wires go, I put glue in there and both the wires go in the hole. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some glue on one end of this fabric and I'm gonna make one long piece. <laughs> Dry brush the white ears with the burlap paint. Yeah, I may do that on the back, especially. And then you can't see the wire, but. She's still angry. I know, she's gonna look better when we get her all, get her face, get her face on. Okay, so let's put her face on. She needs a bigger pink button. So this is, I'm gonna do the pink again. I gotta unravel this stuff. Let's see, is this my... Nope, it's this jute over here. Let me get to a fatter piece over here. Cause you know how it gets skinny and fat and all that? It's longer in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna cut two pieces. You can cut two or three or however many you wanna do. And I just unravel it. And you can use yarn if you wanna use yarn instead of jute. An hour from Memphis. Ice storm warning until Wednesday. Yes, that's what ours says. Wednesday at like 12 o'clock noon or something. Distress ink for the ears. You see, all that stuff, this, since the felt is like a polyester kind of stuff, it, it doesn't want to dry on it. But craft paint will dry on it. It just takes a while. Like, you got to let it sit for a while and it will dry. But it doesn't have anywhere to soak in, so it just has to dry. Okay, so there's my little whiskers. Ink beige, no paint. Okay. I might do that right at the end because, you know, like I said, it's got to dry. Ink pad was what I was thinking. Okay, yes. I might do that. Did the spindle and the bottom circle come from Home Depot? Linda, no. The circle comes from, like, the craft store, like Hobby Lobby or, or Joann's. Um, they all have them in the wood section. I usually get the four-pack from Hobby Lobby is where I get mine. Hey, Phyllis, welcome to my page. I'm here on Mondays and Thursdays at 7.30 Central. So you can come watch and we craft and chat and just have a good time. Okay, so that's all I did was just kind of fray them out. She's going to be looking like a girl in a minute. I'm going to put her down and I'm going to put a dot first and then put my little whiskers down. And then I'm gonna put another dot on top of that and put my little pink button down. Whoop, and hold on to it. Okay, ooh, I got a hair in my eye. Okay, she's looking better. <laughs> Look how stinking cute. Okay, she's coming to life. She's coming to life. Y'all, I got a hair in my eye or something. Fuzz or hair. There we go. I got it. <laughs> okay. So, let's put some dots in her eyes, and that's going to help make her look better. Better, better, better. Where's my dotting tool? Everything's all over the table. Okay. Okay. So I'm using this again, and I'm just going to put, I'm going to use a little end on her. Do hers a little different. Okay. See, she looks better. She's looking better. 
Somebody said, I saw powdered blush. Yes, you could definitely do that. And, you know, I got my little whiskers there, so I really can't see it. But you know what I can try? Hang on, where's my blush? Here's my blush. That's where I keep my blush, over there. <laughs> yes, wedding weekend this weekend. So this is, no, I'm, I'm already married, but my best friend, if y'all missed it, my best friend, Deidre, that passed away, her youngest son's getting married this Saturday, and I'm going to do the mother-son dance with him in her place. Okay, does this make her look better? I put some rosy cheeks on her. See? She's got rosy cheeks. Two buck teeth. <laughs> We'll put some we'll put some on him I didn't even think about the rosy cheeks you can kind of see it this is just my cover girl that I bought that was way too bright for me look at his little rosy cheeks now cute okay all right so there's that one <clears throat> so where are my my flowers here they are <laughs> look at Dawn she's got bunny 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 I gotta show y'all my earrings too while I'm thinking about it first great grandson's baby shower this weekend how sweet I know Anita how sweet are these little bunnies so I gotta cover up my my little um imperfections at the bottom of the ears with these little flowers but they look super cute and I got some pink ones but they're like really bright pink and I don't want really bright pink <laughs> I'm kind of liking the white stuff in the browns and just just a little pink nose see the flowers see that covers up our nice imperfections but you can see my wire on there but Okay, so now let's tie. I doubled up my fabric. I glued two pieces together. Nobody will ever know. And let's see if I can attempt to tie a shoestring bow. <laughs> We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. All right. Certainly, I can tie a shoestring bow. Got one one ears too long <laughs> still too long okay let's get this to come down here y'all know bows are not my thing I can tie my shoes though but cute. look how cute <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no, the brown felt would have probably looked good too. Now that I think about it, you were probably right about that. Clear. Okay. Oop. Can't get my little ears on my bow to be right. Cute. Oh, my dress that I'm wearing, it's like a, it's maroon. Kind of a maroon, it's an evening wedding in this winter, but the sleeves are, it's like a maroonish cranberry. The sleeves are sheer all the way down, and then there's a there's cuffs right here, and they have jewels on the cuffs, and then it's a dress, and it has like layered material all the way down. It's really pretty. I got it at Dillard's, but it's really pretty. Look how cute. Cute, cute, cute. So I may, um, I, yeah, I think now I should have probably used the brown on this one. But see, I, I had the white one in mind, and I wasn't going to put um, the brown on it. So then it was like, you know. Oh, tail. She needs a tail. Thank you. So these are just these extra big pom-pom things I bought at Dollar Tree. You can use a make you a yarn pom-pom and put... 
um, on the back, a little bitty one or whatever, will make you a great big one. Add a touch of blush to the flowers. That's a wondrous idea. Oh, y'all, that's a new one right there. I don't know who it was that said that, but thank you very much. That was awesome. Wait till y'all see these little blushed up flowers. Oh. <laughs> Look how sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. That was genius. Just stress the ears, yes. I'm gonna stress the ears. I'm liking that blush on the flowers. Oh my gosh, this is too cute. And I'm gonna put it right. Oh y'all, oh we, oh we. Look at the bow. I put it right in the middle of the bow. How cute. Oh yeah, I gotta show the earrings. Look, see the blush on the, that was a wonderful idea. They're just little paper flowers. Okay, let's just dress the ears. Hopefully this is gonna look good. And I'll just have to let them dry. Cause it probably will take the rest of the night for it to dry. That looks better. All right, let's get her all fixed up. She's going to her little A little, she's got to have a photo session in the morning. Okay. See, that looks better. It just gives them that little bit of brown. See, and I, I just did the back. You can still see the wire, but I'm okay with the wire. It looks better. Okay, so I got to show y'all my earrings. Get it turned around. That is, um, they are acrylic and they are, it's engraved into the acrylic. Is that not the cutest? Oh, blush on her ears. I could do that. Blush on her ears. Now, aren't they cute? But I, I want to do something first. Hold on. Let's do just a little bit. I'm, I'm having too much fun with the blush. Okay, I just put some at the base of her ears. Just a little bit. That's so pretty. Yeah, she looks all feminine. Do the tail too. Oh, the tail. Yes, I could do the tail. I don't know, I kind of like the tail being white. Okay. So, time for a selfie. Okay, let's, I'm gonna scroll back a little ways. And I gotta write this down. Charlene Steverson, where's some paper? I got some paper, Charlene. Stevenson. If you will message me your address, I'm gonna send you some Bunny tushy earrings. Look how stinking cute. I'm going to have these in my shop hopefully next week. And then I'm going to go on further back. Kathy Burley. Kathy with a C. Message me and I will send you some. Rhonda Underwood. Message me your address, and then I'm gonna go this way. Catherine, is it Gutter Gutierrez? I know I just butchered that. Send me your address, and I will send you some tushy earrings. Oh, my ink, my lead is going out. G U I T E R R E Z. And let's go down here and say. Jacqueline Berry Hill House. Jacqueline. Ooh. Oh, my lid just 
my lid, my lid. Heel House. Did I spell that right? Yes. She said, don't forget his tail. That's Debbie Adams. All right, y'all send me y'all's addresses and I will send you some happy mail of some tushy, bunny tushy earrings. Aren't they cute? So there's actually two pairs. There's two kinds. And I'll show you the difference. Let me find. Okay. I don't even know which ones I have on. I think I have these on. See how they have hearts on them? And then here's the difference. That's the difference. They just look different. Their feet are different. One's got a heart. One doesn't. Aren't they cute? But they're acrylic. And they're, it's engraved in the acrylic. I did that with my laser. But it's really cool. So cute. And they go with everything because they're just clear. <laughs> so cute. So thank y'all for watching. And got my bunny pair. I got a bender ear. I think she needs a I have ink all over my hands. She needs her ear down. So I hope y'all make these because I want to see all the different colors because I know y'all are going to do pink and purple and y'all are going to go nuts with these. But I think they are stinking adorable. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Look, so then we got this one. How cute. Let's put this one in the middle. Look how it's stinking adorable. This is the black sheep of the family, obviously. <laughs> it looks totally different. Um, Linda, I have I buy acrylic sheets, like in big sheets, um, from a supplier, a laser supplier, and then I cut them on my laser machine and engrave them. And uh, I did those today. They're so stinking cool. So I've been cutting all kinds of stuff for, for spring and Easter, um, trying to get a bunch you know, stocked up. So probably gonna release that next week, all of my spring and Easter stuff. And I'm so excited because I can't wait. Um, thanks Dawn. Thank you, BJ. But look, y'all, I cannot wait to see y'all's. I know that they are gonna be sinking cute. Now I want a pink one, like a pink bunny. These are going to look so cute in my house. Aren't they so cute together? He's a kind of an oddball, but you can see the difference. I mean, just a little distressing or whatever. And the fabrics make them, they just have a whole different personality. You just can add whatever you want to add and the colors you want to add. And it's going to, it's going to change the whole look of the whole thing. Um, you're welcome, Tammy. Thank you, Michelle and Rita. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And I hope that everybody is warm tonight and safe and <laughs> multiplied fast those rabbits. Yes. And I have two more in the house. Well, they're in my decor. But um, but now I want a pink one. <laughs> but I don't have any more spindles. Um, I would make one tomorrow, but I don't have any more spindles. And I'm not driving in the ice to go to <laughs> Home Depot. I have a tall one, but... Anyway, um, these are six inch table legs and this is the nine inch. And then the, this angel is the nine inch. So, I mean, there's so much y'all can do with these and so many different ways it can be done. And that's what I like about it. So use what you have. If you have burlap, do burlap ears. I mean, if you have just regular fabric, use fabric for the ears. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you wanna use, felt, y'all probably have felt um sheila i have a mirror nine and i have a thunder uh, yeah thunder and they are uh like industrial size and they're really fast uh more than a glow forge but yeah i started with a glow forge i got two glow forges and then now i have two big huge lasers um and i love doing it i love it i love it it'll do so much stuff i love the bunnies everybody's putting bunnies <laughs> So cute. I'm ready for the bunnies. Bring on the bunnies. I'm tired of cold and dreary and wet. I'm ready for spring. So, 
Y'all, I cannot wait to see. Yes, the angels y'all are making are beautiful. Now I can't wait to see these two. So get you some spindles and have a whole day of creating creatures. <laughs> oh, y'all are so sweet. Yeah, they come from Home Depot or Lowe's. And they're just table legs. But now it's bunny. Look how cute. It's so adorable. Robin, you got me live. You're not on the replay. If that little red button is right here, that means I'm live. So, yeah, I'm live. Um, so, anyway, so if you want to watch the old video where I did them two years ago, they're way back two years ago, um, you can do that too. But y'all can just add to this or put some moss and some flowers or some eggs and just keep going. Um that reel you showed was awesome. That was a fiber laser. The patch, Judy, with my logo on it, that's the fiber laser that we got. Um, my husband is learning all about that because that is a very steep learning curve on a fiber laser. And so, um, he um, he's learning all about that. So, but I'll be, we'll both be going to a laser conference at the end of March in Dallas. And I'm so excited for that. Um, thank you, John. You love my bunnies, Brenda. I know. But anyway, so I will see y'all Thursday. So, um, I hope everybody's warm. Stay warm. Stay out of the ice. Don't fall. Slip down. And I will see y'all Thursday. Thank y'all for being here. I love each one of you. And thank y'all for spending time with me. Spending your time with me. And I will see y'all Thursday. Bye, guys.